Today we're going to talk about how to find coterminal angles, one positive and one negative in units of radians and degrees. So let's say if you have the angle 30 degrees, how can you find the coterminal angle? Here's the quick way of getting the answer. You need to add 360 degrees and you need to subtract 360 or take away 360 from 30. So the positive coterminal angle is going to be 30 plus 360, which is 390. And the negative coterminal angle is 30 minus 360, or negative 330. Now let's talk about what this means. A 30 degree angle is in quadrant 1. So here we have 0, 90, 180, and 270. So between 0 and 90, this is quadrant 1. Between 90 and 180, quadrant 2. This is quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. So here's the 30 degree angle. When we add 360 to it, this is 30, 360 will take you all the way to 390. 390 and 30 degrees, they're at the exact location they have the same point, so to speak. And that's why they're coterminal angles, because they land on the exact same point on the graph. The only difference is 390 covers the entire circle at least once. Now, negative 330, you're traveling the other way for an angle of 330 degrees, but you land at the same spot, 30. So coterminal angles are angles that exist at the same spot, but they have a different value. Let's try some other examples. Go ahead and find the positive and the negative coterminal angle of 240 degrees. So all you got to do is add 360 and take away 360. So 240 plus 360 is 600 degrees. And 240 minus 360 is negative 120 degrees. Try this one. Find equal terminal angles for this angle, negative 150. So just add 360, which is uh, 210, and take away 360, which will give you a uh, negative 510. So on a graph, 150 is in quadrant 2. So this is 150 degrees. Now, negative 150 is over here. You need to go in the other direction to get negative 150. Now the positive coterminal angle of negative 150, we said it's uh, 210. So if you travel in this direction, this is 180 plus another 30, that's uh, 210. You land at the same spot. Or if to graph negative 510, it's going to be uh, negative 90 negative 180, negative 270, negative 360, negative 450, negative 510. It will take you to the exact same location. Now, what can you do if you're given the angle in radians? Let's say it's pi over 3. Go ahead and find one positive coterminal angle and one negative coterminal angle. So 360 degrees is equivalent to 2 pi radians. So therefore, you want to add 2 pi radians and subtract by 2 pi radians. But let's add first. So we need to get common denominators. Let's multiply 2 pi by 3 divided by 3. 2 pi times 3 is 6 pi. So 1 pi over 3 plus 6 pi over 3 is 7 pi over 3. So that's the first positive coterminal angle. 
to find the negative coterminal angle, let's subtract by 2 pi, which is the same as subtracting by 6 pi over 3. So 1 minus 6 is negative 5. So this is the negative coterminal angle. So if we graph it, pi over 3 is basically equivalent to 60 degrees. It's in uh, quadrant 1. So that's pi over 3. Now 7 pi over 3. This is 1 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3, which is pi. 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, 6 pi over 3, and then that's 7 pi over 3. Now, negative 5 pi over 3, we need to travel in the other direction. This is negative 1 pi over 3, negative 2 pi over 3, negative 3 pi over 3, negative 4 pi over 3, and that's negative 5 pi over 3. Try this one. Given the angle 5 pi over 6, find two coterminal angles, one positive, one negative. So first, let's add 2 pi. So we need to get common denominators. So let's multiply 2 pi by 6 divided by 6. 2 pi times 6 is 12 pi. So we're going to add 12 pi over 6. 5 plus 12 is 17. So the first answer is 17 pi over 6. Now, starting with 5 pi over 6, let's take away 12 pi over 6. So this will give us the negative coterminal angle, which is negative 7 pi over 6. So these are the answers. Let's try one more example. Try this one, negative 7 pi over 4. So let's add 2 pi to it. And let's multiply 2 pi by 4 over 4. So this is negative 7 pi over 4 plus 8 pi over 4. Negative 7 plus 8 is 1. So the final answer is pi over 4. This is the positive coterminal angle. Now, to find the negative coterminal angle, take away negative 8 pi over 4. Negative 7 minus 8 is negative 15. So this is the answer. Now, sometimes you may need to convert between radians and degrees, and vice versa. So let's convert to degrees, or from degrees to radians first. So let's say if we have 120 degrees, how can we convert that into radians? To convert it, multiply the angle in degrees by pi over 180 degrees. Now, since 2 pi is equal to 360 degrees, which is a full circle. Pi is equal to 180. So that's the conversion between radians and degrees. So notice that the degree symbol will cancel. So what's 120 divided by 180? So we can cancel a 0. And right now what we have is 12 pi divided by 18. 12 is 6 times 2. 18 is 6 times 3. So we can cancel a 6, and the final answer is 2 pi over 3. And that's equal to 120 degrees. Let's try another one. Convert 330 degrees into radians. So let's multiply it by pi over 180, and let's cancel a 0. So we have 33 pi over 18. 33 is 11 times 3. 18 is 6 times 3. So we can cancel 3. And so the final answer is 11 pi over 6. Now let's work backwards. Let's say if we have the radian measure, which is 5 pi over 6. How can we convert it to degrees? To convert it to degrees, multiply by 180 over pi instead of pi over 180. You want to do it in such a way that the pi symbol will cancel. And so now we have 5 divided by 6 times 180. 
180 is 6 times 30. Since 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 30 is 180. Which means we can cancel a 6. Now 5 times 3 is 15, so 5 times 30 must be 150. So the answer is 150 degrees.